Hey everyone! Since my last RunPod tutorial, the UI has changed, making my old video a little tough to follow. So, I've updated the templates and created a new step-by-step -step guide on Civit AI. Whether you're a first-timer or use my old guide, I'll show you how to work with Comfy UI on RunPod using a network volume. Let's get started. First, if you don't have a RunPod account, go ahead and sign up. You can use your Google account or your email. Adding credits is a lot like paying on other online sites. You can use a credit card, and depending on your location, bank transfer and crypto options may be available. We will start creating a network volume. On the Manage menu, click on Storage. Click Now in New Network Volume. We'll choose a data center to set up your network volume. The most important thing is to pick a data center that has the GPUs you'll use. An easy way to do this is to just click the GPU you want, and the available data centers will be filtered for you. After you've picked your data center, let's give your network volume a name. Then, decide on the disk size. For Comfy UI, 50 gigabytes is a great place to start, and you can always increase it later. When you're ready, just click Create Network Volume. The new, empty disk will appear in your list of network storage buckets. Simply click on it, and then click Deploy with Volume. Now, select the GPU you want to use to start the installation. In this example, we'll be using an RTX 4090. The next step is to select your template. Click the Change Template button. I've automated the installation using my custom KN Network Volume templates. Just select one of the two options. If you're using an RTX 4090, pick the General PyTorch 2.4 template. If you want to do the setup yourself, you can use the standard PyTorch templates and follow the instructions in my Civit AI article. When ready, just click on Deploy On Demand. Your new pod is created, and its control panel is now visible. Head over to the logs to watch the installation. Comfy UI is installing onto your network disk, a process that usually takes 10 to 30 minutes. This is a one-time setup. For any subsequent pods, Comfy UI will start up in just a few seconds. You'll know the installation is finished when a message appears telling you to go to the GUI on port 8188. From there, just click on Connect at the top, and you can jump right into Comfy UI using port 8188. And just like that, you're ready to start using Comfy UI. This template installs a clean version of Comfy UI, without any models or custom nodes, but it does include the Comfy UI manager and a utility to download models. The new Comfy UI templates are intelligent and let you know which models you need. However, if you click download, they will save to your local machine, not your network volume. Whenever possible, the easiest is to download the models using the model manager in the Comfy UI manager. However, sometimes the models are not in the list, like this time with the USO models. The templates also provide the URL for you to download the model from. Just copy that URL, and we'll use the URL downloader node to get it. In Comfy UI, type URL and you should be able to add the URL download node. Then start using the links to the model files and paste them in the URL field of the node. Choose now the destination folder for the model. In this case is checkpoints. Click now on run, or even better, click on the play button over the node. This node will start downloading the model file into your model's directory. Check on the console to monitor the progress. When the downloads are complete, just press R to refresh. The models will then appear in your loader's drop-down menus. You'll also find a dedicated node for downloading models directly from Hugging Face and another for Civit AI. This makes the entire model downloading process incredibly simple. The template also comes with the Comfy UI Manager. This is where you can easily manage your nodes and keep Comfy UI up to date. I won't cover how to use the manager here, 
but I have a few other videos and a Civit AI article with some great tips and tricks you can check out. When you're all done, don't forget to terminate the pod. Otherwise, that GPU will keep running and you'll continue to be charged. Starting a new pod is a lot like what we just did. Simply head over to storage, and instead of creating a new volume, just use the one you already have to deploy a new pod. Pick the GPU you want and select the KN Network Disk template again. After deploying the pod with the template, you can check the logs. You'll notice that ComfyUI is starting up immediately. That's because you'll never have to install it again. The startup time will depend on the rented GPU and how many custom nodes you have in your ComfyUI setup, but it should only take about a minute, or even less. By using this template, your ComfyUI installation will keep all your files, nodes, and models from before, so you can just pick up right where you left off. No need to reinstall a thing. For file management, you can still use JupyterLab. Just access it from the pod console via port 8888. From there, you can navigate your Comfy UI directory and download any files you've generated. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.